Hello everyone, Dr. Blade. So I want to tell you about something. I want to talk to you about something. You see a lot of people trying to get into like the Brooks Kepta, the DJ, the, even the Ben Hogan where the, the lead wrist is cupped. That's supposed to be like a really big thing now, but if you look throughout history, it's not a big thing. What I found out over the years, I found it easier to get into this position by working with the rear, the dominant hand. And I'm gonna tell you why I think so. Because we do so much with the dominant hand, I think that the sensors that go from the mind to the body just works better because it's the dominant hand. It's used to us telling it what to do. So what I would do at the top, only thing I worry about, not the target side hand, I worry about the, 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 the rear hand. The rear hand being extended. Extension, flexion. Extension, flexion. Depending on your flexibility and your mobility, it's going to vary. Some people's extension is going to go all the way back. I have limited extension, okay? So I know I'm not going to have a big, heavy cup wrist. So my backswing, the only thing I worry about is getting the extension from the rear wrist. When you do that, look at this. If I automatically extend, look what happens to the target side wrist. It either cups or it gets flat. Depending on what type of grip you have, if you have a neutral grip, you're going to have more of a cup. If you have a stronger grip, it's not going to cup as much, but you're still going to cup. But my target is the rear wrist right there. So again, try this. Everybody's trying to do it from the, from the target side. Give it a try from the rear side. Just like when you waggle. Look how you waggle. Now you may think about why Ben Hogan waggled like that, right? He was already built net into the golf swing. Here's a drill you can do. Okay, come up on your ball. Already extension. Get you some momentum, and you're just going to hit through the ball and try to hold that position. Okay, do it again. Get your extension, get you some momentum. Give that a try. It is an excellent drill. You can hit shots with it. You can actually gonna find out that you're a really good golfer when you start adding that into your golf swing. It's actually activating a power lever, but give it a try from the rear. Remember, if your rear has extension, the target side automatically is gonna cup or be straight. Hey, keep grinding folks. Dr. Blades Golf Workshop. Check me out on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram under the same name, Dr. Blades Golf Workshop. Take care.